the preamble. Whereas recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice and peace in the world. Whereas disregard and contempt for human rights have resulted in barbarous acts which have outraged the conscience of mankind and the advent of a world in which human beings shall enjoy freedom of speech and belief and freedom from fear and want has been proclaimed as the highest aspiration of the common people. Whereas it is essential, if man is not to be compelled to have recourse as a last resort to rebellion against tyranny and oppression, that human rights should be protected by the rule of law. Whereas it is essential to promote the development of friendly relations between nations, Whereas the peoples of the United Nations have in the Charter reaffirmed their faith in fundamental human rights, in the dignity and worth of the human person, and in the equal rights of men and women, and have determined to promote social progress and better standards of life in larger freedom. Whereas member states have pledged themselves to achieve, in cooperation with the United Nations, the promotion of universal respect for and observance of human rights and fundamental freedoms, whereas a common understanding of these rights and freedoms is of the greatest importance for the full realization of this pledge. Now, therefore, the General Assembly proclaims this universal declaration of human rights as a common standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations, to the end that every individual and every organ of society, keeping this declaration constantly in mind, shall strive by teaching and education to promote respect for these rights and freedoms, and by progressive measures, national and international, to secure their universal and effective recognition and observance, both among the peoples of member states themselves and among the peoples of territories under their jurisdiction. Artículo 1. Todos los seres humanos nacen libres e iguales en dignidad y derechos, y dotados como están de razón y conciencia, deben comportarse fraternalmente los unos con los otros. Article 2. Een ieder heeft aanspraak op alle rechten en vrijheden, in deze verklaring opgezond, zonder enig onderscheid van welke aard ook, zoals ras, kleur, geslacht, taal, godsdienst, politieke of andere overtuiging, nationale of maatschappelijke afkomst, eigendom, geboorte of andere status. Verder zal geen onderscheid worden gemaakt naar de politieke, juridische of internationale status van het land of gebied waartoe iemand behoort. Onverschillig of het een onafhankelijk, trust of niet zelfbesturend gebied betreft. Dan wel of er een andere beperking van de soevereiniteit bestaat. Artro 3. Kathe atomo echi de keumas de zoe in elefteria ke de prosopiki tu asfalia. Article 4. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all their forms. El Madda al Khamisa. La yu'arradu ayu insan lit ta'adib wala lil uqubat aw il muhamalat il qasiya aw il wahshiya aw il hatta bil karama. Article 6. Everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. Article 7. All are equal before the law and are entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. All are entitled to equal protection against any discrimination in violation of this declaration and against any incitement to such discrimination. Article 8. Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by the competent national tribunals for acts violating the fundamental rights granted them by the Constitution or by law. Artículo 9. Nadie podrá ser arbitrariamente detenido, preso, ni desterrado. Article 10. 
Everyone is entitled in full equality to a fair and public hearing by an independent and impartial tribunal in the determination of his rights and obligations and of any criminal charge against him. ماده 11 هر کس که به بزهکاری متهم شده باشد بی گناه محسوب خواهد شد تا وقتی که در جریان یک دعوی عمومی که در آن کلیه تضمین های لازم برای دفاع او تأمین شده باشد تقصیر او قانونا محرز گردد هیچ کس برای انجام یا عدم انجام عملی که در موقع ارتکاب آن عمل به موجب حقوق ملی یا بین المللی جرم شناخته نمی شده از محکوم نخواهد شد به همین طریق هیچ مجازاتی شدیدتر از آنچه که در موقع ارتکاب جرم بدان تعلق می گرفت درباره احدی اعمال نخواهد شد. Article 12 Niemand darf willkürlichen Eingriffen in sein Privatleben, seine Familie, seine Wohnung und seinen Schriftverkehr oder Beeinträchtigungen seine Ehre und seines Rufes ausgesetzt werden. Jeder hat Anspruch auf rechtlichen Schutz gegen solche Eingriffe oder Beeinträchtigungen. Article 13. Toute personne a le droit de circuler librement et de choisir sa résidence à l'intérieur d'un État. Toute personne a le droit de quitter tout pays, y compris le sien, et de revenir dans son pays. Article 14. Everyone has the right to seek and to enjoy, in other countries, asylum from persecution. This right may not be invoked in the case of prosecutions genuinely arising from non-political crimes or from acts contrary to the purposes and principles of the United Nations. Article 15. Tout individu a droit à une nationalité. Nul ne peut être arbitrairement privé de sa nationalité ni du droit de changer de nationalité. Article 16. Men and women of full age, without any limitation due to race, nationality, or religion, have the right to marry and to found a family. They are entitled to equal rights as to marriage, during marriage, and at its dissolution. Solo mediante libre y pleno consentimiento de los futuros esposos podrá contraerse el matrimonio. La familia es el elemento natural y fundamental de la sociedad y tiene derecho a la protección de la sociedad y del Estado. Article 17. Elke tiene derecho a individual en una asociación con otro eigendom te besit. Niemand su eigendom sal arbitrar afgenomen worden. Artikel 18. En ieder heeft recht op vrijheid van gedachte, geweten en godsdienst. Dit recht omvat tevens de vrijheid om van godsdienst of overtuiging te veranderen. Als midden de vrijheid het zij alleen. Het zij met anderen, zowel in het openbaar als in zijn particuliere leven, zijn godsdienst of overtuiging te beleden door het onderwijzen ervan, door de praktische toepassing, door eerdienst en de inachtneming van de geboden en voorschriften. Kaat is het kaal. ทุกคนมีสิทธิในอิสรภาพแห่งความเห็นและการแสดงออกทั้งนี้สิทธินี้รวมถึงอิสรภาพที่จะถือเอาความเห็นโดยปราศจากการแทรกแซงและที่จะแสวงหารับและส่งข้อมูลข่าวสารและข้อคิดผ่านสื่อใดๆและโดยไม่คำนึงถึงพรมแดน Article 20 Alle Menschen haben das Recht, sich friedlich zu versammeln und zu Vereinigungen zusammenzuschließen. Niemand darf gezwungen werden, einer Vereinigung anzugehören. Article 21 Everyone has the right to take part in the government of his country, directly or through freely chosen representatives. Everyone has the right to equal access to public service in his country. The will of the people shall be the basis of the authority of government. This will shall be expressed in periodic and genuine elections, which shall be by universal and equal suffrage, and shall be held by secret vote or by equivalent free voting procedures. Article 22 Jeder hat als Mitglied der Gesellschaft das Recht auf soziale Sicherheit und Anspruch darauf, 
durch innerstaatliche Maßnahmen und internationale Zusammenarbeit sowie unter Berücksichtigung der Organisation und der Mittel jedes Staates in den Genuss der wirtschaftlichen, sozialen und kulturellen Rechte zu gelangen, die für seine Würde und die freie Entwicklung seiner Persönlichkeit unentbehrlich sind. Artigo 23. Toda a pessoa tem direito ao trabalho, à livre escolha do trabalho, às condições equitativas e satisfatórias de trabalho e à proteção contra o desemprego. Todos têm direito, sem discriminação alguma, a salário igual por trabalho igual. Quem trabalha tem direito a uma remuneração equitativa e satisfatória que lhe permita e à sua família uma existência conforme com a dignidade humana e completada, se possível, por todos os outros meios de proteção social. Toda a pessoa tem o direito de fundar com outras pessoas sindicatos e de se afiliar sindicatos para a defesa dos seus interesses. Article 24 Everyone has the right to rest and leisure, including reasonable limitation of working hours and periodic holidays with pay. Article 25. Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and of his family, including food, clothing, housing and medical care, and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of unemployment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age, or other lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond his control. Motherhood and childhood are entitled to special care and assistance. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, shall enjoy the same social protection. Artículo 26. Toda persona tiene derecho a la educación. La educación debe ser gratuita, al menos en lo concerniente a la instrucción elemental y fundamental. La instrucción elemental será obligatoria. La instrucción técnica y profesional habrá de ser generalizada. El acceso a los estudios superiores será igual a todos, en función de los méritos respectivos. La educación tendrá por objeto el pleno desarrollo de la personalidad humana y el fortalecimiento del respeto a los derechos humanos y a las libertades fundamentales. Favorecerá la comprensión, la tolerancia y la amistad entre todas las naciones y todos los grupos étnicos y religiosos, y promoverá el desarrollo de las actividades de las Naciones Unidas para el mantenimiento de la paz. Los padres tendrán derecho preferente a escoger el tipo de educación que habrá de darse a sus hijos. Article 27 Var och en har rätt att fritt delta i samhällets kulturella liv, att njuta av konst samt att få ta del av vetenskapens framsteg och dess förmåner. Var och en har rätt till skydd för de ideella och materiella intressen som härrör från vetenskapliga, litterära och konstnärliga verk till vilka han eller hon är upphovsman. Artículo 28. Toda persona tiene derecho a que se establezca un orden social e internacional en el que los derechos y libertades proclamados en esta declaración se hagan plenamente efectivos. Artículo 29. L'individu a des devoirs envers la communauté dans laquelle seul le libre et plein développement de sa personnalité est possible. Dans l'exercice de ses droits, et dans la jouissance de ses libertés, chacun n'est soumis qu'aux limitations établies par la loi exclusivement en vue d'assurer la reconnaissance et le respect des droits et libertés d'autrui, et afin de satisfaire aux justes exigences de la morale, de l'ordre public et du bien-être général dans une société démocratique. Ces droits et libertés ne pourront en aucun cas s'exercer contrairement aux buts et aux principes des Nations Unies. El Madde 30 Laisa fi hadha l'Ilan nas yajouz ta'wiluh, 
على أنه يخول لدولة أو جماعة أو فرد أي حق في القيام بنشاط أو تأدية عمل يهدف إلى هدم الحقوق والحريات الواردة فيه. And this is the end of the declaration.